high waves have once again pounded the Pacific Atoll nation of Kiribati. This time, it's a king tide with waves measuring nearly three meters high. The floodwaters have forced some villagers to run for higher ground. But Kiribati's highest point is just four meters above sea level. Over the years, Beatake Orea has seen many of her neighbors' houses destroyed by rising sea levels. She wonders how long it will be before she too is forced to leave. The sea is, is very cruel to, to Kiribati and uh, it's getting higher and higher. I'm afraid of the, the future. I don't know what, what will happen to Recent high tides have threatened to destroy causeways linking low-lying atolls as well as flooding the capital, Tarawa. The constant flooding contaminates much of the nation's fresh water reserves, vital for the islanders' survival. Salt water seeps into the soil, making it increasingly difficult to grow crops. Global warming could cause the country to disappear beneath the waves. Some smaller islands have already sunk into a watery grave. It seems only a matter of time before the rest of Kiribati suffers a similar fate. For local church leaders, the stark choice facing Kiribati is either cultural or physical extinction. Climate change is really a problem. And something has to be done for it. Otherwise, you could have yourself to. The only strategy I found that uh, could have is, uh, can survive, I mean, to survive the, the climate change problem is either to go somewhere, which means also a problem because they have to be uprooted from their culture, identity and whatever. But, uh, or else they have to stay and, and die here. President Anote Tong believes the process of global warming is irreversible. He blames selfish, industrialized countries, which he says are indifferent to his nation's fate. For most developed countries, this is not a matter of priority because they, they don't live on small uh, atolls, and so they don't have this problem. Uh, so their priority will always be towards their own uh, people, and so they, they go for economic growth at the cost, at the ultimate cost of uh, of maybe the uh, small islands like ours disappearing one day. We are facing a gradual dying process, and I think they do need to come in, they do need to provide opportunities, options for us. Kiribati is the world's most easterly island. It had a brief moment of fame on the world stage as the first country to enter the new millennium. But ironically, unless major changes are made to prevent further climate change, the island may no longer be there to welcome in the next century, far less the next millennium.